listen i tried solo p1 tried i emailed them i actually dm them i tweeted them i whispered them i've done everything i can to contact ferrari solo p1 has done his best he's done his best he's tried if if they would have answered the phone and if they would have responded to the emails they could have had a better result today they don't listen listen to me again if you're watching my video ferrari and i know you're probably watching it carla science benito um Ch charles Leclerc knows this already listen to me you stupid red geeks pick a side pick a side is it the carla science's side or is it the charles Leclerc side pick a side you stupid red geeks my opinion pick charles he's the faster driver he's had more pole positions in this season than anybody he's clearly the fastest driver no disrespect to carla science because he's not better than charles Leclerc. charles Leclerc is a better driver than carla science Carlos Sainz got his first win last week at the British Grand Prix. Congratulations. He got the pole. He got the win. Congratulations. But it should have been Charles Leclerc's win. Ferrari left him out. Ferrari left out Charles Leclerc. But that was then. This is now. They should have pitied Charles Leclerc, but they never. But that was then. This is now. Make a decision. Pick Charles Leclerc and run with it. Because if you don't pick Charles Leclerc, and if you don't pick a one driver, what's going to happen is Max Verstappen is going to run away with it. You stupid geeks in a sprint race, trying to race each other. You two are, you two are racing each other. Max Verstappen is going off in the sunset, laughing his ass off. Pick a side. You think Mercedes would do this? No. You think Red Bull would do this? No. You think McLaren would do this? No. You think even Alfa Romeo would do this? No. We are talking about Ferrari. The oldest team in Formula 1, them and Alfa Romeo. The oldest teams in Formula 1. Ferrari is the only team that's been there from the beginning to now. You should know what to do. Get out there. Pick a side and run with it. Get Charles Leclerc to get in front and get Carlos Sainz to support him. Very simple. Because if you don't, like I said, Max Verstappen is going to run away with his title. You stupid geeks. You got a lovely car to me, the best car on the grid. I do not care what anybody says. Ferrari's got the best car on the grid. Mercedes car is there now. It's there. It can win. And it can get um, uh, podiums. But to win the title, no, they're too far back. Too far back. But this time, this is Ferrari's year. And if they don't win the title, and if they don't win the construction, if they don't win the driver's championship, they're going to be thinking to myself, we blew it. Because when next season comes, there's no way you're going to run over Mercedes. It's not going to happen. Because you can see Mercedes now are there. They are there. And they're not going to come into next season with the same problems again. Because you've got all these new regulations changing now. What should have been changed after Silverstone. Then it got put off by France. And now it's getting put off to Spa. Who do you think that benefits? Red Bull. Red Bull. I'm talking about the ride heights. That ride height was supposed to be sorted after Silverstone. That's what the FIA said. The fucking corrupted FIA. And then they got put up. Oh, we're going to do it to France. Nah, no, we're not going to do it to France. We're going to do it at Spa. Confirmed. And I guarantee next week they're going to um, change it again. But what it boils down to, Ferrari, sort your shit out. Pick Charles Leclerc and get Carlos Sainz to support him. Because that's what Checo's doing. Checo's not winning nothing he might be second in the driver's title but he ain't winning nothing you think you think all of a sudden now that um red bull are going to sacrifice max and staff and think yeah we're going to put our our machine behind P perez no perez ain't winning nothing he could come out in the media once and says we're equal drivers he knows they're not equal drivers he's never going to be an equal driver it's all about max and staff and this is why ferrari gotta be this season with um, um charles Leclerc. he's been there the longest He's their boy. He's clearly faster. He's clearly faster than Carlos Sainz. He needs to just sort the shit out, man. Before he gets out of hand. 
Couldn't believe it when I saw that sprint race today. Then um, Carlos such a challenge. You stupid geek. You second, you got your winning Silverstone. That's enough. Calm down. Stay behind um Carl. Stay behind um Charles. Well, look, we're nearly halfway through the season now. You can't start taking points off each other. That is Red Bull's wet dream. The two Ferrari guys taking points off each other. This is why all the all the, all the Red Bull fans suddenly love Carlos Sainz. They know Carlos Sainz is faster than Charles Leclerc. They know. They know. They know Charles Leclerc is the danger man, the danger man for um, Max Verstappen. So they go, yeah, we want Carlos to get in there, try and disturb. Think I'm stupid, you stupid geek. Mercedes. Said this yesterday in my video. Look, the race is different. They've got a brilliant race car. Mercedes. In the race, they can beat anyone. When Silverstone last week, um, he proved his point. Mercedes proved his point. Lewis Hamilton proved his point. And if Russell was in the race... If Russell would have been in the race, he would have been in the mix as well. They have got a good race car. They've got a very good qualifying car, but a better race car. And they are in the mix now. They're not in the mix to win the title because they're too far back. But they're in the mix to take points off Red Bull. I want them to take points off Red Bull. Every time Red Bull loses points, I would have a party. Every single time. What they need to do now, they need to get their heads together. Mercedes. I know, look, they need to stop making little mistakes. Look, Lewis yesterday in qualifying, it was the wind. They said it was the highest tailwind in Austrian history. Oh, one of the highest tailwinds in um, Austrian history, at the um, Austrian GP, where Lewis went off. But Toto's not worried. Toto's not worried. He said, I'd rather come off and have a fast car than not come off and have a slow car. And I totally agree. They patched the car up. It was fine. He come out, he come out earlier in practice too. He done a bit of running, um, Lewis Hamilton, and he was fine. He was fine, man. But today, when they had the sprint race, I couldn't believe Gasly. The way Gasly come over in the middle, it could, it was the first corner, and he, could, he put his car straight in the middle, guaranteed accident. So what happened? He hit Lewis's car, damaged Lewis's car, and he didn't get a penalty. Gasly should have got a penalty. This stupid geek. He should have got a penalty today for hitting Lewis Hamilton. Guaranteed, but he never he never got he got away with it. Typical. He got away with it, man. And that damaged Lewis' car. They didn't come out on the radio and said it because they just carried over the race. But after I told us, so they checked the data. And um, Lewis Hamilton was losing downforce on the straights. He was losing speed on the straights. This was why he was kind of stuck behind um, the Haas today. The Haas done a great job. That, you, you're talking about teamwork. Haas is a perfect example today. Yeah, Kevin Magnussen out in front, and he was keeping Mick Schumacher within his DRS. It was perfect. Lewis was stuck behind Mick Schumacher and because of the damage of his car, he couldn't make the move. See, when Perez come along, and he saw the two Haas, because Perez' car was fine, he passed the Haas no problem after a couple of laps. But Lewis was struggling because of the damage at the beginning by um, Gasly. He was stuck behind. He was stuck behind Mick Schumacher. Now, Mick, Sh Mick Schumacher, to me, he's improving every week. He's got a new bit of confidence. He wants to control that team. He doesn't want Kevin Magnussen to be the man of that team. He wants to be. Mick Schumacher today, after the race, it came in the news. There was an interview with him on Sky Sports F1. Go on Sky Sports F1 and you can check it out. And he's absolutely pissed. He wears, he, he wears his heart on his sleeve. A bit like Magnussen. The journalist and Mick Schumacher was there standing there and think, you know what? Um, I got told to stay behind Magnussen. So I'm gonna he got told by his team to stay behind Magnussen in the race, and he was pissed. And he was blatantly telling the um the reporters he didn't care. Wearing his heart on his sleeve, man. Mick, Michael Schumacher wouldn't have done that. Michael Schumacher was more like more um quiet. He he, he usually does his arguments behind the camera, but Mick Schumacher, he didn't give a crap. Maybe he gets that from his mum. I don't know. Maybe he gets that from his uncle. I don't know. He was letting the reporters know. He was letting the world know that he was pissed off because they told him to stay behind Magnussen. At the end of the day, he wants to be the main driver. If he wants to drive for Ferrari, which I still think is going to happen maybe down the road when they get rid of Carlos Sainz, he has to, show, he has to start showing 
yeah some leadership skills not just oh yeah i'm gonna sit behind um a magnuson he don't want that he wants to be out in front now he's got that bit of confidence his first points at silverstone mick schumacher scored his first points at silverstone last week and now for some reason now he's got that bit of confidence in him and he's a young driver he's a young driver up and coming driver magnuson's a veteran he wants to beat magnuson and that's what you're supposed to do when you're at a team you want to beat your teammate very simple that's the first person you want to beat at your team is your teammate. You're not going to get nowhere if you don't beat your teammate. And that's how it goes. And Mick Schumacher showing them true leadership skills. But the thing about it, I was shocked that he came out in the press. And when he was getting interviewed and he was just basically airing his grievances out in front of the whole world. And I like it. I want to see more of that. Now, that, that's my thoughts on the race. The, the, it was a sprint, sprint race. Ferrari needs to get the shit together. Listen, Benito, oh, you stupid geek. My email's in my link. Yeah? Email me. Ring me. Fly me. Fly me to Austria. I'll be there tomorrow afternoon. I'll sit in your pit wall. I'll give you info. You know what I mean? Solo P1. If you see this video, give me a call. Email me. Get the, get the private jet over here. I'll meet you at the airport and I'll give you some info, man. You need someone like Solo P1 to give you some info in the in the paddock. Because you got some stupid geeks in there not doing the job. Stop letting your drivers fight each other. This is the business end now of the Formula 1 season. You don't want that stupid geek Max Verstappen to run away with it. You got two good drivers here. You get Carl, you get Carlos Sainz to support Charles Leclerc. Very simple. In the pit strategy, everything. You gotta nail your strategy right. This depends, this depends on the constructors and the drivers. You could win it all. This could be your season. You could be a double world champion. You could have constructors and drivers. You got the car. Use your head. And that's all I got to say, man. That's all I got to say. There's news coming in that Vettel's got to find. I, I'll get into that on Monday. I'm going to be doing a flaming time like on Monday. Check out my channel for that. Where I'll be talking about um, the stuff about Vettel getting fined. I'll go into that in more detail. That'll be on my episode 32 of the Flaming Tarmac. Tomorrow, the, re the review is going to be a bit longer. Actually, the, tomorrow, I might, I might not do the review tomorrow. I might do it Monday or Tuesday. But it will be coming. F1 2022 Austrian GP Sprint Race Review. And before I go, do you like my new lights? I've got the new lighting today. Look, live on here. I thought I'd change it a little bit. You know me, solo P1. I like to change it. I don't like to stay the same. Every couple of months, I like to change a little bit about my, uh, my, my little room. So if you like it, um, leave your positive comments in the comment section if you like my lights. Hit the like button, sub button, show the love, air the video out there, link the video, give it to your friends. And if you want to listen to me in the car, you want to listen to me in the gym, if you want to listen to me just lying on your bed, just chilling out in this lovely British summer, which we've had a lot of summer this year. I mean, past couple of weeks, we've had a lot of summer. Hit Spotify and iTunes and type in Solo P1 F1 Reviews. You type that in and you'll see my little red logo. Click on the sub, click on the, um, 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 hit the follow, show some love. See you later, guys. This is Solo P1 signing out. But before I go, there's my link again across the screen. There you go. There's the link. See you later, guys. Bye.